Entering service in 1933, the SIG 33 equipped the heavy gun platoons of infantry regiments and remained in service until 1945. Limited to a maximum range of just 4,700 metres, its task was to lay down heavy fire and suppress enemy opposition as German infantry went into the attack. Its shell was relatively heavy at 38 kilograms and the gun had a rate of fire of between two and three rounds per minute. It was this that saw it employed on the first self-propelled artillery vehicle developed for the German army. The decision to mount the SIG 33 on a self-propelled chassis led to the employment of the Panzer 1B. The mount was designed by Orkett of Berlin who converted 38 Panzer 1 chassis in February 1940 and these were in service for the French campaign. The resultant vehicle weighed some three tons more than the standard Panzer 1B. The 150mm gun was mounted in a large box-shaped compartment atop the hull and looked decidedly cumbersome. It was taken into battle by six heavy infantry gun companies in May 1940, each being attached to a panzer division. The only film of this vehicle in action shows it being used to effect, to blast defences as German infantry moved through a French town. In general, the vehicle proved successful in action and was later employed in the Balkans and Russia, finally disappearing from the battlefield in late 1943 when the survivors were serving with the 5th Panzer Division in the east. No others were built for it was recognised that the gun overtaxed the light chassis and the very high silhouette was undesirable. An attempt to mount the SIG 33 on a Panzer II chassis in 1941 proved abortive, just 12 being built. Nevertheless, the SIG 33 on the Panzer 1B provided the German army with much formative experience in the operation of self-propelled artillery.